Hi, I'm Teresa from Southern Biological and today I'm using agar cubes to demonstrate the effect of cell size on the efficiency of the exchange of materials across a membrane, such as with diffusion. Now this is a great prep because it's simple to run and students will see clearly that as an object increases, the volume increases at a greater rate than the surface area. And this means that it takes longer for materials to diffuse into the centre. This is a cells prep for year 11 or 12 biology students and will take 30 to 90 minutes to run. You can choose how long a class takes because you can either wait until all of the cubes have changed colour completely or you can finish up once it becomes clear what's happening. You can also choose how much maths you want your students to do because they can either calculate each step by hand or plug their measurements into a spreadsheet. For this experiment, you will need agar cubes, vinegar, a beaker or other dish, a spoon, a timer, a white tile or weighing boats, and a ruler. Or if you have calipers, they can make measurements a bit easier. Now, we're using vinegar as the acid to, make, to reduce risk a bit, but even though it's a food stuff, you still need to wear your normal personal protective equipment. And of course, nothing in the lab should ever be eaten, no matter how well it goes with hot chips. At Southern Biological, our kit comes with eight sets of three sizes of agar cubes to demonstrate different surface area to volume ratios. One is about an inch cubed, one's about a centimetre cubed, and one's in between. Now watch out, keep your agar cubes in the container they come in until the class because too much exposure to air can dry them out. And if for some reason they turn green, you can get them back to blue by soaking them in a solution of 5% bromothymol blue and enough sodium hydroxide to make the right colour. The first step is to measure the length, width and height of each of your cubes and enter your results into your table. Then calculate the surface area and volume and the surface area to volume ratio of each of your cubes. Pour enough vinegar into your beaker to cover the largest cube. So we're talking about half an inch. Place the agar cubes into the vinegar. And start your timer for five minutes. The blue color starts to disappear from the cubes as the vinegar diffuses into them, changing the pH and causing the blue indicator to turn yellow. After each five minute interval, we remove the cubes from the vinegar and we can see that the blue portion has started to shrink in a uniform fashion. So we measure the length, width and height of the blue centre of each cube. After taking the measurements, return the cubes to the vinegar for the next five minute interval. Continue this process of measuring the blue portion at five minute intervals until all the cubes are completely yellow. You can expect the smallest cube to take five to 10 minutes, the medium cube 20 to 25, and the largest cube will take over an hour. Now, if you don't have enough class time, but you still want to know how long that largest cube takes, either the lab tech or even somebody in the next class can take note of what time it finishes. We have demonstrated that diffusion is more efficient in objects with a large surface area to volume ratio. The mathematics of how we process our measurements can be found in the agar prac resource on our website. And this concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more information, explore our website or feel free to give us a call at any time.